Friends star Matthew Perry has died at the age of 54. I think what breaks my heart is that his last few moments were alone. The sudden and sorrowful passing of Matthew Perry has reverberated globally, filling hearts with profound grief. Adding to the shock, a recent disclosure of photographs shared by Perry shortly before his passing has ignited a significant stir as the circumstances surrounding these moments come to light. So what exactly did the photos reveal? The most awful things in the world, because you have to lie and pretend that you're doing well, and you don't even understand why you have to do that. Matthew Perry's passing came suddenly, shortly after he returned to his Los Angeles residence following an energetic two-hour pickleball game. As per TMZ reports, Perry had sent his assistant on a short errand, and when they returned approximately two hours later, they were met with the distressing sight of Perry unconscious in the jacuzzi. Immediately, they reached out to authorities for urgent help. It's worth noting that there were no signs of any substances at the scene, and authorities have no suspicions of foul play. In response to this tragic incident, a representative from the Los Angeles Police Department disclosed that they had received a call regarding the death of a man in his 50s at Perry's residence. However, the police had not officially confirmed the identity of the deceased at that time. Matthew Perry's most recent public appearance before his unfortunate passing involved a dinner outing with a friend. The friend's icon was caught on camera appearing relaxed outside the renowned Los Angeles burger joint, the Apple Pan, just six days prior to his demise. In the photographs, the 54-year-old actor appeared relaxed, donning a green t-shirt along with black pants and sneakers while enjoying quality time with his unidentified companion. His demeanor conveyed a sense of contentment as he ventured out and about. One day later, shared a picture of himself relaxing in a jacuzzi days before he reportedly died in an apparent drowning. The 17 Again star, who was relaxing in the hot tub with headphones in as he gazed out over what appears to be the LA skyline, captioned the post Oh, so warm water swirling around you makes you feel good. I'm Matman. Matman is an amalgamation of his first name Matthew and Batman. His other recent Instagram pictures included his home cinema playing movie Batman, which he captioned, Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? I'm Matman. And another post of a pumpkin for Halloween, which he captioned, Do you know what I mean? While the last with his face clearly visible was taken with his rarely seen father, John. Before all these posts, Matthew had posted other cryptic posts concerning Batman. On October 17th, Perry shared a video featuring a preview screen of Robert Pattinson's The Batman Movie. The clip was accompanied by the caption, No need to worry everybody, I've got the streets tonight. Two days later, Perry shared another image of a huge Bat logo emblazoned on a wall with red lights. The post's caption read, Sleep well everybody, I've got the city tonight. Matman. A third post featured a photo with a message that read, Batman plays pickleball. He captioned it, WTF, and then later added in the comment section, rest easy, I'm on a tall building. On October 23rd, Perry shared a video with a message that had fans' alarm bells ringing. The actor posted a clip showing a hand placing what seemed to be three cranberries or purple grapes on a table. He captioned, this is what I've had to eat today, I'm Matman. At the time, fans were finding the sudden outpour of posts from Perry a bit weird. One fan had actually commented, I'm starting to get confused by these posts. Nothing all year in AMP, now this. Other fans interpreted this as a call for help. I think he's trying to tell us something, one fan wrote. Another fan also commented on one of the posts saying, Are you okay? Should we send for help? Now, in light of his tragic demise, many fans have gone back to check these last posts, and some are claiming that Perry was sending the bat signal for help. One fan actually commented on this saying, He was sending us the bat signal. He needed help. His death should be investigated. Who took the picture of him in the hot tub for his last post? That's where he passed away. His entire IG is like PR and only recently he started posting and he was sending out the bat signal and we didn't get it. A second fan added, I think he was sending out a bat signal for help. I am so heartbroken. Now, the the bat signal is a distress signal device appearing in the various interpretations of the Batman mythos. It is a specially modified Klieg searchlight with a stylized symbol of a bat attached to the light so that it projects a large bat emblem on the sky or buildings of Gotham City. In the stories, the signal is used by the Gotham City Police Department as a method of contacting and summoning Batman to their assistance in the event of a serious crisis and as a weapon of psychological intimidation to the numerous villains of Gotham City. For Perry's case, fans are alleging that the actor was trying to call for help with all the Batman posts. 
Fans are speculating that the actor had maybe relapsed into substance AB or was probably in a mental health crisis. Matthew's battle with addiction was no secret, as he openly discussed his struggles in his poignant memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, published in 2021. The book detailed how his addiction worsened under the intense glare of fame after rising to stardom at the age of 24 as Chandler Bing in the hit sitcom Friends. In the opening passage, he wrote, Hello, my name is Matthew, though you might know me by another name. My friends call me Maddie, and I should be deceased. Within the book, Perry recounted his heavy drinking during the first two seasons of Friends, though he claimed he never appeared on set while intoxicated. He later developed an addiction to the pain medication Vicodin after a jet ski accident during the filming of Fool's Rush In with Salma Hayek in 1996. By the conclusion of the tenth season of Friends, Perry found himself deeply entangled in a web of troubles as he would later reveal. At one point during his time on the show, he was consuming up to 55 Vicodin painkillers each day and had dwindled to a mere 128 pounds. In a 2016 interview, he confessed that he had no recollection of filming three seasons of the series because he was a little out of it at the time. Perry also pointed out in his memoir that fans could discern his substance use based on his appearance. When I'm carrying weight, it's alcohol. When I'm skinny, it's pills. When I have a goatee, it's a lot of pills. Jennifer Aniston, his concerned co-star who portrayed Rachel Green on Friends, eventually confronted him about his drinking. Perry recalled her saying, I know you're drinking. To be confronted by Jennifer Aniston was devastating and I was bewildered. How can you tell? I asked. I've been trying to conceal it. We can smell it, she responded in a somewhat peculiar yet caring manner, and the use of we struck me profoundly. Perry's struggles with substances persisted after Friends. In his memoir, he recounted how he came perilously close to death four years ago at the age of 49 when his colon ruptured due to opioid overuse. He spent two weeks in a coma, five months in a hospital, and nine months using a colostomy bag, with his family being told he had only a 2% chance of survival. A couple of years later, Perry faced another life-threatening incident when his heart stopped for five minutes. He was in a Swiss rehab facility at the time but had misled his doctors about severe stomach pain to obtain a prescription for hydrocodone, an opioid used for pain management, and as a cough suppressant. Scheduled for surgery to alleviate his pain, Perry took hydrocodone the night before the procedure, which, combined with the anesthetic propofol administered during surgery, caused his heart to stop for five minutes. He explained that it wasn't a heart attack, but nothing had been beating, and eight of his ribs were broken during CPR. As a result, he had to withdraw from his role in Adam McKay's Netflix comedy, Don't Look Up, even though he had already filmed a scene. Perry had faced multiple brushes with death, and it is tragically ironic that he did not survive this time. Meanwhile, many celebrities sent out their tributes over this fallen star. The official Friends Instagram account posted that it was devastated to learn of Perry's death. He was a true gift to us all, it said. Maggie Wheeler, who played Chandler's girlfriend Janice and Friends, said the joy Perry brought to so many in his too short lifetime will live on. I feel so very blessed by every creative moment we shared, she wrote on Instagram. The actor Wendell Pierce, who starred alongside Perry in the remake of The Odd Couple, wrote on X, for two years, Matthew Perry was my boss, my colleague, and a giving, kind, funny man. I pray and hope he is at peace. In any case, as news of his passing continues to circulate, many are anxiously waiting for further details to shed light on the circumstances of his death. The shock and sadness reverberate throughout Hollywood, reminding us of the profound impact one individual can have on the lives of so many. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.